Hey guys, welcome back to Alex Goes Coconuts. So today I'm going to cover how many days you really need to visit Universal Studios in Orlando. I get asked this question all the time. Every time somebody knows that I went to visit Universal Studios, they always ask me, how many days do I really need to see the whole thing and really enjoy it? Well, that depends on when you're visiting, what time of year, how busy the parks are, and it depends on what kind of rides you like. I would have to say that prior to the Wizarding World opening, you could easily visit both parks in one day using a park-to-park -park ticket. Now with the addition of the Wizarding World, there's so much to see and it attracts such bigger crowds to the parks that it's hard to fit everything into one day. So the short answer is that a minimum of two days is necessary to visit Universal. I recommend uh, devoting one day to each of the Universal parks. One day for Universal Studios and one day for Island of Adventure. And if you're planning on visiting uh, the Wizarding World, definitely consider that park to park ticket so that you can ride the Hogwarts Express. If you do not buy the park to park ticket, you will not be able to ride the Hogwarts Express from Diagon Alley to Hogsmeade. So if you're a big Harry Potter fan and that's important to you, definitely get the park to park ticket. If not, you can totally do one park for each day. That being said, if you really wanna take advantage of Universal, I would recommend a three day visit or a four day visit. This will give you time to fully explore each one of the parks and to also uh, revisit some attractions that were your favorites. And this obviously depends on your budget and what time of year you're visiting. Let's say you're visiting at a very busy time of year, like let's say in the summer or during the holidays, you're gonna have big crowds and long lines to get into most of the attractions. You're obviously not gonna be able to fit in as many attractions than if you visit at a slower period or time of year. Now, if you're planning on visiting Volcano Bay, I would suggest staying four days. Volcano Bay is a really fun water park, but it can eat up quite a lot of time going there. And if you do want to add the Volcano Bay, then I would definitely add an extra day to uh, your park ticket. So just a quick recap, one day is a little short to visit uh, both Universal Parks. Uh, two days is the minimum and three days is the ideal. Now, if you're adding Volcano Bay, then I would totally add that extra day and do four days at Universal. So I hope that helped you plan a little bit of a better trip. Don't forget to check out my other video on what to bring to the Universal Parks. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.